talk to you about the way the Sabres have played you guys the last two times? Do you feel like maybe you owe them tonight based on those last two games in time? Yeah, for sure. They're a team that's taken four points off us this year, so um, this is our last time playing them, and we're definitely going to want to get uh, two of those back. What do you know about Owen Power? Uh, not a whole lot, to be honest with you. Obviously, I know who he is. Uh, I haven't really seen him play very much, but um, high pick, obviously, and uh, good size and skill, I'm sure. So, um, you know, I'm happy for him personally, but we'll be looking to get on him. As a big guy yourself, like Owen, what do you think? The advantages to being a large defenseman is? I think you have more reach, maybe. You cover more ice. Um, just having that long stick, like you see Chara, um, you just cover so much ice by have it being 6 7 and then having the long stick in addition. So, um, you know, it's definitely a big asset for a defenseman. Is this the best decor since you've been here? Um, I like the way our decor is playing right now. I like, um, it seems like. Since Gio's come in, we've kind of just evened out all the pairs and been playing, uh, kind of spinning them and, and going, um, I, I don't know what phrase I'm looking for, just playing guys regularly, I guess, and, and not so worried about the matchups. So I think that's been working well for us and um, keeps everybody involved, which is good. What's it like for you, like the experimentation phase that Sheldon's doing here, trying to prepare Yeah, it's different. Um, you know, you, you have certain chemistry with different guys and, um, you just kind of have to know what aspects of your game can gel and how to play with each other. So I think that's what's important about playing with different guys is you start learning about each other. And in playoffs when things um, guys might get hurt or you might just want to mix it up or whatever, it's good to be prepared and be ready to play with everybody. What do you see in Gio Gano as a teammate, Justin, you might not have seen as an opponent? Uh, I love Gio. You know, um, obviously as an opponent, I've watched him and, and really liked his game. Um, as a teammate, he's great and uh, really good in the locker room. Obviously, brings a veteran presence and a uh, great player on the ice. He's been really good for us. What was the thing you hated most about playing against Gerdin before he became your teammate? Um, I think he's just really good um, in the subtle plays, whether it be like finding a guy on a breakout or even walking the blue line and you think he's just going to maybe um, put it back on the yellow to the corner or something like that, and he finds a space to get it through. and. Um, finds his way in your net or something like that. So he's really good at, at certain things like that, just small things that you notice, and um, but things that make a big difference in the game. It's like just yesterday we were talking about Austin going at 50. Now he's on the doorstep of 60. Do you have any sense how high this guy can push it? <laughs> I don't know. He's out of control, but uh, we like it. Yeah, I mean, for him, do you sense any change in, in his demeanor how he, as he goes through this? Not at all, no. I think, um, you know, He's been a, a great player ever since he came in the league, obviously, and um, you know he works his uh, his tail off, and he's reaping uh, reaping the benefits. What have been your early impressions of Colin Blackwell? Yeah, I think he's been great too. He brings a lot of energy, and he's really physical too. And um, you know, it might be a play where a guy tries to chip one past him or something like that, and he just stands there and gets in his way and uh, it kills the play. So I've seen him do that a couple times. Obviously, he scored a couple goals for us as well, and. Um, I think he's a guy that can bring a lot to the lineup. Sheldon was saying that he was trying to get the group to play more physical, basically since day one of camp. How, how do you how have you seen that evolve, and do you think the group is there yet? Yeah, I think um, I think the group has shown that. Um, I think the what Sheldon would probably like to see is us do that 100 percent of the time, obviously. Um, so the consistency on that in that aspect is is big for us, and I think when we are consistent with it, it makes a huge difference, and we have the puck a lot more, and uh, we've been experiencing more team success. So um, I think we're definitely close, maybe not all the time, but I think we're doing a really good job. What's it mean when a guy like Mitch is kind of leading the way in that regard? He's leading guys in hits this month. Yeah, exactly. I think he has 13 in his last two games or something like that. So um, he's been on a mission physically, and uh, – you know, we see the clips every time he gets a hit, we get the puck back. So it makes a big difference. Uh, with Austin, Michael Bunting was telling us, like, when Austin scores, he feels like he's scored. Or like, yeah. How much is it driving the whole team this, this run? For sure. I mean, it's uh, obviously it's huge to get goals no matter who it is, but he's been scoring at such a pace that um, has been really leading us to wins. So I think, you know, everybody – is super happy for him, and like Bunt said, you, you know it's a team effort, so everyone feels good uh, anytime anybody scores. But in particular, when he's chasing a, a record or whatever he's doing, um, it's just fun to fun to watch and fun to be a part of.